folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. So today, folks, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of learning on um, the icicles model. Now, I, there's not a lot of people that have really shared a lot about the icicles model. It's really simple to get into. We just click it one time. We can click and drag down here, and we can get into it. But before we do, I want to tell you about our awesome PPD se Sequence Club. If you join the club, you get one sequence each month with your membership payment. You also get uh, a free uh, four effect packs that you can download. Uh, not packs, but four individual effects. Also, they work great on either matrices or megatrees. You can also add the kaleidoscope effect and the warp effect, which will change them and make them look even better. And finally, I want to bring up the point that if you join the club, you also get awesome discounts from vendors that are partnered with us through our affiliate program where you can save hundreds or thousands of dollars on your Pixel, your Coral purchases, and much, much more. Just go look at our affiliates page. You'll see some of the folks. If you do join, there is a page full of discounts waiting for you from people like James at Boscoyo Studios, Crocofancia Lights, Wired Watson, many, many, many others. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's lesson. So folks, what I have here is I have that icicle model, and I'm gonna let's go ahead and zoom in because there are a couple things I want to show you. Now, personally, I just behind me have two boxes of uh, pixel icicles, but I have them as single individual strings. I don't actually have them made the way that you see them here. Mine have a um, mine are seven drops. I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. I'm going to come over here to the left hand side since I've already clicked and dragged it out. Uh, I have one string. Uh, per string, I have 56, whoops, uh, my goodness, I hit delete. Um, I have 56 different uh, pixels on this string here, and my drops are by 7. And you should see that that should do it. Uh, we'll go ahead and make these smaller because that will represent it just a little bit better. And uh, basically, that's it. That should be my icicles, right? So just to make sure, because my icicles, the way that they're set up, is they start at the top and they go down one through seven, and this should be eight through four uh, through fourteen, fifteen through uh, I can't calculate fast enough. Twenty-one, twenty-one uh, through twenty, twenty-one through twenty-eight, twenty-nine through. Uh, uh, 32 or 37, whatever it is. So uh, you get the point, I the iterations of that way. So what we can do is we can go in here, select the model, and right-click and check our node layout. And if we are accurate, we can see node 1 through node 7, string 1, string 1, node 8 through 14, 15 through 21. So you can see that our model is going to match um, a very much like the way that I have set up the models for personally for my icicles. So if you do order different icicles, make sure that you come down here to the drop pattern. And if they are, for example, five comma four comma three comma four comma five comma four comma three that I had Ray make these for me one year and they were all dumb. So I'm updating my dumb RGBs into pixel icicles. You can see this is what they would kind of look like if they had that kind of a wavy pattern for it. So with that being said, this is the basics of getting uh, getting started with your uh, pixel icicles. Um, they're very, very simple to get going with. Uh, there are some other options um, that you can you can uh, definitely change the uh, start pattern. You can change the starting location. See that right now it's saying it's going from left to right. Typically on my layout, everything starts on the right because all my controllers were over here. So I would start it out on the right and go from right to left. I just how I did it seven years ago, eight years ago, and I haven't stopped ever since actually 12 years ago. That's whenever I started putting my lights up over on that side. So, um, so with that being said, I think the icicle model is pretty uh, relatively simple. If you haven't ordered these yet, I highly suggest it. The, the pixel icicles are probably the biggest addition that you can add on to any one uh, to any of your uh, to your layouts or anything that you're doing the the icicles really do add a whole different dimension to your sequencing they do add uh, a lot of light and color in places that you may not have thought of whereas you do if you do have a roof line like I do it's fantastic to also have those icicles hanging so 
Like this video if you like it, folks. Share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to our uh, PPD uh, YouTube page by hitting the big red subscribe button. And if you haven't done so, use the bell notification to let you know when we have a new video that's posted and pushed to your mobile device so that you can see it as soon as it's posted. Also, we'd like to thank you for uh, watching the video. If you appreciate the fact that we do all of these how-to tutorials and videos and so forth, please feel free to contribute by becoming a Sequence Club member and joining in in the discounts that are available or just to say thank you for, uh, for, for doing these videos. We'll continue to produce them as long as people appreciate the work that we're doing. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. And over